Well, we have arrived down near the uh, Gila River here, but we can't cross. The water's too deep for the trucks to get across. Oh, wait a minute. A trans party just broke out here on the trail to the Watson. <laughs> trans party. There's Brian. He's doing his thing. Yeah, here goes Brian. He's going to... part isn't too difficult. That doesn't look bad at all. Ooh, the water like ice cube in my butt. He's gonna go for it. Now the tough part's gonna be at the far bank there. That's where the river's moving the most volume now. So let's hope we don't get in any trouble here. Yeah, here we are. We've come what uh, three, four hundred foot above the river. It's about where Brian crossed over. He's heading back up to the trees there, and then about right in the middle of the frame, you might be able to see a little bit of an opening there. That's the last chance. Now see up here. Got some octahedrons up there, and then some cubes down here, so kind of interesting. It might be a second stage development or something. Yeah, let's we'll see what we can do. Yeah, see, so you got some heavily modified cubes here. Let's see if we can pull in on this a little bit. Not sure what this camera will do for showing individual crystals and things but we'll take a look and see if we can keep this as steady as we can but there you can see some modified cubes here's a piece I just found uh, coming up the slope here it's got some decent sized octahedrons on there you know you got almost an inch on the leading edge there you got quite a bit of damage around the rind. It's been sitting out in the sun, so the color's not too fresh. But you know, it does have green. It does have green color. So getting up into these rocks here, and we've got some pretty heavy mineralization here. You can actually see octahedrons, greenish blue octahedrons on the surface of the rock here, right out on the right out exposed to Mother Nature herself. great and they are definitely on some hard uh, looks like rhyolite type matrix so I don't think we're going to be beating a lot of them off but it is interesting to see that the mineralization well developed you can see it going in and out of these fractures crystals all over all the little animal stuff and everything hanging around in there you know little pack rats and stuff and I mean here you are just looking at octahedral fluorides you know, right here on the surface. Nobody's been after those, nobody's had a chisel. You know, I'm sure the colors faded out and everything, but you know, really nice sharp octahedrons. Now, unfortunately, it looks like it's been in the weather, so there's not a lot of color left, but the aesthetics and the layout and the geography on this thing is wonderful. It's kind of like a ridge. And we got three quarter inch octahedrons. We got some quartz bubbling up in the middle, so we got all kinds of relief, which is pretty unusual for this area. So this could have been a heck of a piece. Well, here's what became of that area where the nice uh, group came from. Started down low, mucked it out, looking for any other pieces, pushing it back through the hard rock, see if we could find a seam here or some crevices or openings, you know, that might produce a few more. Not entirely sure that it actually came out of this area. It might have came from a little higher. 
fell down here, but because uh, there was no other pieces. A few came out of the muck, but not very deep, so. But definitely an area worth scouting a little harder. That's gonna pretty well wind it up here at the Watson Project, Gila District, looking for fluorospar crystals today. Did you tell them how we could not okay. cross the mighty river? That's it. And this is Mark Abasso with Monrat Minerals saying, see you next time.